called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are the Israelites. God's chosen people, we are teaching the Bible for free to our people. Ain't no plates, ain't no sauce, we ain't asking you for no money, calling the tides, lining. We just want you to know who you are and what you must do, and, that, and that's keep God's laws in the faith of Christ. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 14. Uh -huh. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee. So this Bible, our Bible, again, for the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, is full of commandments. We have a job to do. God told us everything that we must do to be perfect in his eyes, to be obedient to him, to show him that we love him, such as not eating swine. Got people going to say for right now before the Lord's Sabbath, which is tonight at sundown, buying swine, crab, or oysters and lobsters, all those things are abominable. The most high calls them unclean. We're not supposed to do that from the top again. You know? And thou should not go aside from any of these words which I command thee this day to the right hand or to the left. He's saying don't get distracted. Why? Because there's going to be many distractions around you. What you think TikTok is about? Yeah. YouTube and Twitter. All these different things. Just you know what I'm talking about. But we got to come back to this Bible. We got to get away from the false image of Christ and get on the real image of Christ that you can read about in Revelations 1 and 14. He's saying don't get distracted. Stay focused on the commandments that I told you to do. Apply them. Why? Because it's left. Because you are going to grow spiritually as you apply the commandments of the Most High God. That's it's guaranteed. Right. Read on. To go after other gods. To do what? To go after other gods. Caesar Bolshev, the second son of the sixth pope, who you ignorantly call Christ, is another god. A Christ. false god. That is not Jesus. Snatch this man off your walls, off whatever you got him on your phone, everything that you see, because that's not Christ. That's just a man and he died. A pedophile. Excuse me, what is he? Sleeping with his sister. Not a man at all. He's beneath a man. A base man. Read on. To serve them. What? To serve them. How do you serve these other gods? By breaking God's commandments. By doing everything that you're taught falsely to do. By going to church, so-called church, on Sunday, the first day of the week. That is not the Lord's Sabbath. Tonight at sundown is when the Lord's Sabbath starts. You should be prepared for the Sabbath right now. That means you should be getting your food, your food that you already got to cook, or, or going to cook, getting ready tonight so that you're not cooking when the sun sets down. You're not supposed to cook at nighttime. We're not supposed to work. We got to take the Sabbath day off. It's a day of rest. Everything that we need to prepare to do, we have to start doing right now before the Sabbath hits. It's only 24 hours. It's just from sundown to sundown. It's not the end of your life. That's Every right. Every time we tell somebody it's a Sabbath, you can't cook on the Sabbath. They say, but what I'm going to eat? What I'm going to do? You had a cold sandwich before. You didn't eat leftovers before. Why you can't do that now for the Lord? It it's real easy. It's real simple. Hey, my brother Fahama, y'all know your nationality? I see some bling bling. I don't know if it's a cross, but I just want to know if y'all know your nationality according to the Bible. You look like you're Israelites, all right? The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. If that's the case for y'all, but you got to keep God's laws in the face of Christ. Read on. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He just gave a promise. He's about to give a promise. He said, It's going to come to pass if you don't listen. We brothers just want pastors while we teaching the Bible, trying to edify them and let them know who we are. According to God's word, the Israelites, God's chosen people. He said, if you don't listen like they just did, and they keep walking by and read, to observe, to do all his commandments. To observe, to learn and to do all his commandments. To not turn to the left or to the right, like we read in the verse above in verse 14. What's going to happen if you don't? And his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these curses. All these curses are going to fall upon the Israelites. That's what the 28th chapter in Deuteronomy is about from verse 15 on down to 68. That's a whole lot of curses in the Bible, the real Bible. King James Version, the real Bible. Read on. Shall come upon thee uh -huh. and overtake thee. Say, These curses are going to come upon you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans and overtake you. By the way, calling yourself African American, Mexican, uh, Native American, all this other stuff, that's a curse, by the way. That's a byword. That is not your God-given name. That's You're right. under a curse. Under the illusion of inclusion, being fooled into thinking you American. You're not even an American, what's it called? A uh, citizen. We're not even citizens here, we're innocents. People that's allowed certain rights to do certain things. Yeah. You're not even an American citizen, but you don't realize that because you neglect or don't know that you're an Israelite. Come on, read on. Cursed shall thou be in the city, uh -huh. and cursed shall thou be in the field. You so called blacks, Hispanics, and natives, why are we cursing the city? Why are we cursing the field? Because we keep breaking God's laws. That's right. How are we cursing the city, you might ask? Who's the last to get hired and the first to get fired from the same doggone job? Our people, the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel. Hey, excuse me, let me get five minutes of your time, please.
Five minutes to discuss the Bible with you real, real quick. But folks, Sabbath, we got something. Appreciate it. Give me Genesis 49 for his card. Let's go, let's go show Izzy them in the Bible. Five minutes, real, real quick, before the Sabbath though hit. Hey, police Sabbath though when they hit. Oh, y'all about to leave? Okay, go back to where you at. Read on. Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse, uh, what was that, 17? Verse 17. Uh -huh. Cursed shall thy be thy basket uh -huh. and thy store. Read it again. Cursed shall be thy basket uh -huh. and thy store. Cursed shall be our basket in our stores, right? Everything that we try to save up to prepare and maintain is going to be cursed. It's going to be destroyed. Back when we was in our homeland, our homeland, Jerusalem, our crops went to waste when we broke God's laws. Everything we stored up in the storehouses, it was spoiled every time we broke God's laws. Why? Because we keep sinning. That's why we have the worst problems on the face of the earth. Because we God's chosen people. And we don't want to do what he told us and commanded us to do. So we keep suffering over and over again. Baruch 3 and 8. The book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. In our what? In, in our captivity. Hey, sister, going in the store, you know we still slaves? The Bible says, well, yet this day in our captivity. Was that all? In the truck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, sis. Hey, soldier, tell her go park. Tell her go park. She got a hair wrap on. She welcome. Tell, hey, tell her make two rights and go back to the You come to us, sir. It's free. Hey, watch. Listen to this. Read it again. Bring it out. The book, the book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 8. Come on. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Uh -huh. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. And to be subjected to payment. Be subjected to what? Payment. So we're still in slavery. I've been watching him talk to that brother. Yes, sir. So we're still in slavery until this day when we've been scattered by slave ship. Why? Because we keep breaking God's laws. Right. What's the curse talking about here? Subject to payments is going into bills. Every time you turn around, you got to pay another bill. A rent, if you got an apartment, you got to pay a mortgage. If you got a house you're trying to buy, you got your car, uh, your car, your car, what you call that thing? Car note you got to pay. You got your insurance for your car as well. Gas going up sky high. All these different things we get taxed. Why? Because we have been in sin all over and over and over. Guess what? The other nations don't pay the same prices we pay. When it comes to rent, when it comes to mortgage, they get the deals. They get the leniency when they're behind. They don't get evicted with no cause. That's for you Israelites. Why? Because you're God's chosen people. But you keep breaking God's commandments. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 